Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Georgetown Hoyas. And as we get set to tip off, let's take a look at two of the players we'll be following tonight. And our starting lineup. Well, Gus, it's always great to watch a couple of talented bigs banging away down low. We're in for a special treat tonight. Definitely something to keep an eye on. And of course, how the teams will set the tempo. Well, I think if they can focus on some of these keys here, they'll be in a position to win. Tonight, we have the opportunity to see a great college basketball game. You have two teams top 25 both looking for the win i think it's going to be a tough one have two teams that leave it all on the floor every time they step on the court and based on their coaches i know both teams will be well prepared it's going to be a battle you can finish you can blink and he could have 20 on this young man can put the biscuit in the basket this kid has real talent but i think the key is to take good shots which he does within the confines of the offense the Hoyas set up into their zone motion offense. And this is difficult because they understand how to take advantage of mismatches. Tump it inside. Looking for the bomb. He drains the three. The Hoyas are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post rack. Well, anytime you get a player on the high post, you can make plays, you put pressure on the D, and that can lead to some easy open looks. Now they work it around the perimeter. Careless mistake there. Now on the run. It's knocked out of there. Blocked. Thanks for joining us here on CBS Sports. Gus Johnson along with Bill Rafter. Poor decision there. Why is he shooting from there? Out of bounds and a change of possession. Let's get another look at the layup. You've got to make these inside ones, Gus. They're high percentage shots. They've just got to be completed. Way out on the right wing. Shot rejected. Off the mark. Snatches it down. Out on the right wing. Shots up. And he can't get the bounce. What a rebound. Dump it inside. He unloads the three. But he misses his target. Out on the left wing. Jump shot. He missed it. Oh, physicality. Here they go in transition. Lobs it inside. Lobs it. Gets the rebound. On the left side. alley -oop. Looking for a good shot. Lobs it inside. Out on the way. Dials up a long-range shot. Oh! This guy is a real talent, a great passer and scorer. And what's great about this kid is his ability to find the open man and also put up some points. It's a skill that not enough guards possess. Down in the low block. Fires. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. On the left side. Heat check time from long range. That's how to stretch the defense, Gus. If you can make those, offensively your team becomes really difficult to guard. First personal foul. Once more, his last shot from downtown. He really knows what to do when he gets his hands on the ball. Big time dagger. Out of 
bounds, and we're not going anywhere. Well, Mr. Raftery, this game has got to be one of the hotter tickets in town. Two of the nation's best. There's nothing but talent, Gustavo, on both rosters. We're about to watch some quality coaches and quality players in action. Lobs it. Grabs the rebound. On the wing. And we're going the other way. Here's a snapshot of how they fare in their conference. Uh, if a coach tells you he doesn't want to be at the top of this list, he's kidding you, Gus. Conference play is extremely important, especially towards the end of the season. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. The ball stripped. Aliou lobs it inside. On the left side. Lobs it. And will head back down to the other end. Great hustle. They work it around the perimeter. And he lays it up and in. Looking for a good shot. Ah, he got it up and in. He knows how to operate down on the box, and he can step out and shoot the jump shot. Mr. Versatility, when you have a big guy who can score in, step out deep, and knock it down, it just opens up so many other things for the offense, the ability to slip others into the box area. Alley-oop! And the ball is out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. These teams have come to play, Coach, and the score confirms it real close here early. Both teams are on the national radar, and neither team wants to back down. Still a lot of basketball left to play in this game, but I have a feeling this one is going to come down to the final possessions. Buckle up, Gus! Call for the foul. Sideline inbound. numbers big numbers are good but the great players and coaches know they can only give you so much information it's important to look at everything a player does on both ends of the court if you want to understand how valuable he is to this team good On the left side. In the lane. Shots off. Grabs the board. Down on the low block, trying to work it inside. No. Dominating the glass. We are at the six-minute mark. The skip pass is picked off. Both teams looking to get in a... A bit of a rhythm here. Out on the left wing. Jump shot. He can't get it to go. And he looks to outlet. On the wing.
They work it around the perimeter. Ball stripped. The Hoyas in a hurry. We're at the five-minute mark. Up and in. Ha ha! This guy is a complete player in the post. He really causes problems, Gus, for the D. You have to double him, and that creates havoc on others. On the low block. Fires. Off the mark. Way to get up, big fella. On the left side. And he can't get the bounce. on the left wing. He shoots from the corner. Shots off. Pulls down the board. Four minutes left on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turnover. He'll want that one back. Steal. You gotta have your head up during these transitions. Lobs it inside. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the right of the circle. Shots off. Look for the outlet. The Mountaineers running their zone offense. Very effective because of the power on the glass. It opens up that opportunity for tips. Comes up empty from deep. Takes the board. Well, Coach, is a timeout forthcoming? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there, Gus. They're really out of sync. The Mountaineers set up into their four-around-one offense. Now, if you have a good postman, it's very tough to defend. Everything centers on him. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the lane, the junior. They work the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Can't connect from the three-point line. Shots up. And no! Oh, competitive, Gus. Foul on the play. Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. And we get a look at his numbers so far this season. You can see there what you can expect from him on the stat sheet, but I'm sure his coach knows everything else that this young man gets done each and every game. Makes the foul shot. Two minutes left on the game clock. Jump shot. He missed it. What a coach will be happy with that effort. Looking for a good shot. Oh, what a strip, coach. On the right side. Dials up a long range shot. Buck. On the wing. Fires. Big time dagger. Number 
on the left side. Nice look. Bam. They work the perimeter. No. Makes them so competitive on the glass. They work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. The bounce to ecstasy. Number are called for the foul. He got the bucket and the foul. You just can't touch this guy. You got to hold him, Gus. He's determined to take it to the rim. Here's another solid junior build. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can rely on them for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. And we have a change in possession here. The Hoyas are playing great team basketball right As a coach, when your team is playing together like this, all you can do is sit down and enjoy the moment. We all know how fast things can change. Baseline inbound. Stay tuned for the road to the final four. Let's take a look at our game summary to this point so far. You can get a sense of the story of this game by looking at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play, though. Anything can happen. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Gus, it looks like they're going with the... Minimum. Dump it inside. In the lane. Shots off. What a rebound. It's mine. Out on the left wing. Fires. He can't get it to go. Great inside control. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Jump shot. How about that? Huh? On the wing. Lobs it. Looking for a good shot. Fires off the mark, pulls down the rebound. And he can't get them out. See the floor. You can get some easy fast breaks. Out on the wing. Put a little English on it. about live legs. Incredible. Number 
He missed it. Goes up high with two hands and pulls it down. What a pass on the backdoor cut. Get out of my way! Now they work it around the perimeter. How about that elevation? A great job of moving the ball, coach. Because when you move the ball like that, you force the D to react, and which in turn is the offense the upper hand. Loose ball saved. No. Defensive rebounds are essential to a running team. On the left side. Elevation! In the post, in the lane, shots off. On the left side. Heat check time from long range. And misses. Gets the ball. Good job defensively. Not a great idea to be shooting from out there. And we'll get a change of possession. Here we go. Let's watch the dunk one more time. He knows what to do, and he gets the job done with disdain to the tin. We're at the eight-minute mark. On the wing. Here comes the pain. On the left side. Shot clock down to 10. How about this kid, huh? Seven minutes left on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. Who wants it? He saves it. And we'll get a change of possession. Raph, so far it's been a demonstration of teamwork. Yes, it makes things really difficult for the defense when multiple players are contributing at the offensive end. I doubt they were prepared for this. On the left side. Jump shot. The sophomore. Stolen. Trying to run the other way. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy for this guy. Six minutes left on the game clock. On the right side. The Mountaineers got some good ball reversals. 
Coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great swing passes, ball reversal, getting them the open looks. Exactly what they want right now, Gus. On the right side. Shot clock down to 10. On the right side. Shots up. It's good. We're at the five minute mark. Look at that block. Terrific. Now an opportunity the other way. He can't get it to go. It's mine. First team five. Made this long range shot look easy. Feet square. Way to stick it. Dump it inside. He shoots from the corner. No luck from downtown. On the left side. Shots off. Give it here. Four minutes left on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Off that time. A great defensive team will limit their opponent to one shot, Gus. With no luck. Get out and fill. Dump it inside. He tries the three. And he answers. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from the top of the key with the answer. He takes the three. Three minutes left on the game clock. They keep him under wraps. Great defensive trap there. That's almost textbook, Gus. Perfect. Down on the low block. In the lane. Shots off. Out on the left wing. He shoots from outside. Not this time. One shot, Gus. You always want to limit the opposition to one opportunity. Loose ball batted in. Change of possession. How about this shooting clinic from three? Man, they've been on fire. Uh, being successful shooting from perimeter all comes down to teamwork and execution. You can shoot a contestant three anytime you want, Gus. But you need to work together as a team if you want to get good, pure, clean, open looks. We are at the two-minute mark. Out on the right wing. He got there in time. Great knowledge of the game.
straight away. But he misses his target. Look to outlet. On the left side. The junior. Sensational dribble penetration, Bill. Gus, he put the ball to the floor with conviction and drove it home. He attempts the three. The Mountaineers are having an unbelievably tough time from the field. They're not concentrating, Gus. They've got the lockdown on the rim and shoot the ball with confidence. We are at the one-minute mark. On the right side. He shoots from the top of the circle. Buckets. On the outside. He shoots from the corner. Comes up empty from deep. Out on the wing. Ooh, he jams it. Long down court pass. Can't connect from the three-point line. On the wing. Coach, let's take a moment to look at our players of the game here today. These two kids were fantastic. They played hard and put forth an effort that I'm certain their coaches will be happy with. That concludes our coverage on CBS Sports. For the governor, Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson saying good night.